An absolutely stunning setting on Loch Ree outside Athlone for an historic night at the impressive Hudson Bay Hotel with the first ever joint All-Stars presentation evening for both the ladies football and camogie third level competitions. Supported by families of the players, the colleges and of course appreciated most of all by the players themselves. It was a great night, great evening all together. It was great to be with our own teammates and then the rest of the Camogie All-Stars and then to be mixed with the footballers as well. It was great. It's great to get to know them. That's sort of unusual for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's the first time that we've ever got to interact like with. It's usually straight away after the Ashburn that it, we were just handed out the jerseys and given dinner then like as separate individual teams. But now it was great to come together with everyone and to have the proper reward. This is the first time I've ever been at an event with um, the Camogie, but it's actually at the WGPA rep um, meeting this morning, and that was with the Camogie girls as well, which was great. And it's you know it's great to bring them together because um, at the end of the day they're all under the same umbrella, and um, I don't I don't know why we wouldn't be painted with the same brush. I was talking to I was actually talking to Grace Walsh earlier, and um, she actually won a Camogie All Star last year, and this event you know it hasn't been running very long, so it's great it's great that there's more recognition coming towards the LGFA and the and the Camogie, and that you know that we're nearly on par there with the um, with the men, and um, you know the effort that was put in by DJ and Marie and Aoife and Gemma and Fiona and all them you know that can't go without mention, and um, I know myself and the players are really really appreciative. Um, of that. In previous years players would uh, awarded jerseys just on our side and we felt um, obviously we were lucky as well that the HSC took us on on board that it is a big thing and it is a big all-star award. It is an honour to be elected one of the 15 players across the country to win that award and we thought of course these girls need to be honoured. Intercounty players are honoured at uh, all-star events so why can't our girls be honoured too? So we put uh, together this event with the HSC, obviously them leading, they had their event last year and we were very, very happy and privileged to do that. Jerome, look at really, really happy with tonight's event. It's the first uh, coming together of ladies football and Camogie All-Stars. Um, I suppose over the last number of years it's, it, it, it has come a long, long way. I remember days when there would be plenty of players in the dressing rooms afterwards, you'd be handed an All-Star jersey and say, there you go, and it's finished at that. We've, we, we've, we've brought it on now, we're making it a prestigious event, and so to have 15 Camogie players and 15 ladies footballers here together, merging together, was a fantastic evening this evening. And do you think it might be an example? It might be something that has been going to be followed in the future with ladies football and Camogie maybe working together? Absolutely, I can't see any, any reason why not. Um, they're two big associations, we have a lot of crossover of dual players and at the end of the day we're looking out for their welfare, their development and if we can work together I can't see any reason why we cannot work together going forward. It's a great night here um, celebrating the achievements of the College All-Stars. Um, you know, it's, it's a wonderful night to recognise all of the work and um, the contributions that they make to the game and certainly uh, colleges football and camogie have you know increased no end in recent years in terms of the skills and the talents and the number of players competing for places as well in the colleges so uh, it's a very vibrant scene and one that um, you know students who are doing their leaving cert would certainly be looking forward to being part of when they go to college. And it's a new event and the ladies football and camogie together tonight. What did you think of that? Yeah, well, it's a first for us, certainly. And uh, it's worked out very well. You know, I think at this level where, you know, students are participating so closely together and, you know, some players playing football play camogie and vice versa, uh, that they're very much interlinked in college scenes. So it's a good place for us to start having um, a joint event, I think. Oh, I think so, because um, I think they all integrate in college anyway. You know, I think I was at the, uh, the both uh, cup weekends, the Ashburn and the O'Connor Cup, and there was players from both sides there at each weekend supporting each other. Um, I suppose I was in UL, so I'd know maybe the UL contingent, and they were both there each weekend supporting the other team. And I think there's just it's very natural. Um, I don't think they do anything differently. And I imagine thinking back to my own days, you know, after each weekend your equivalent was out with you as well and enjoying the week and the hurlers and the footballers you know so um yeah i think it's 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 really nice for tonight to see them all coming together and as i said it's something we, we'll continue to support